Hey guys, my name is Venki, and today we go, we are going to talk about um, the flattening of object, or you can think uh, as a flattening of an array. So, uh, if we uh, think like sometimes we uh, uh, receive a data which have a kind of nested array um, like this, okay, and we want a, such a data we want in a single array or yeah, even then could be the object containing inside but we want to be display somehow in a in a table so that it is visible okay so we just want to flat run so uh, for those things i have taken an example let's say this is an, an outer object and it's containing the key and under this key k a and value one okay again it's a key two and type let's say key b and value and key three is something like that a b and c like this okay so how it's going to be flat run it flat run is simple means uh, we are just going to uh, drill down till its value let's say key one dot key a and its value okay uh, now we'll take key two and similarly way we'll drill down till its value and we'll figure it out where, it's, uh, where, where its real value is exist. Okay. Now we'll go also for uh, the third one, which is the key three, and we have to go till K, A, B, and C like that way. So there is a very beautiful, uh, uh, also uh, ES6 have the features, but uh, the NPM have this model. I'll give this particular link as well, okay, uh, in the description box. From there, you can download it, okay. So this is a, a basically, a, uh, okay. So this is, uh, you have to include your package.json and you have to just install and, but it's not worked for all the cases. We have to think how you can, it can be useful for your project, okay? It's normal cases, it's well and good, but it uh, comes with certain drawbacks or it's a default behavior. You have to think how it can be utilized for your own purpose. So let's say, we have a simple, uh, I'll taking uh, two example. One is the simple one. Uh, I have already um, added this flat node module over here. And um, uh, then uh, we have already uh, required, I have already imported this feature over here. And I'm just going to respond. I'm just taking a dummy object and then uh, I'm just going to respond it over there. Okay, so let's come to, I'm just first taking first step, I'm taking very simple example. And let's see whether our flattering is working or not, say. So it's our, let's say it's an our object, which have the prop one and prop two, okay? Or if you want, we can take it's exactly the same value, okay? Let's say we are just going to take this value instead of that. Okay, so I'm taking that particular value. Um, I hope I have, okay, now this one, yep. Okay, now I'm going to send the flat run data. I'm not, uh, first uh, let me send the original object and see the response, how it's being the response is being there. It's key one, key two, exactly the same way uh, we are receiving the data is exactly the same. But if we apply the flat run thing, flat run, okay, we want to flatter this data, flat run this data, and it's a one word code. And we're just going to refresh this thing. Um, let's see why it's, it's being there. It might take some time to reload. Mm, got it. There's a one special end and see, we have the flat run the data, okay? 
but let's see we create a, another endpoint which is exactly the same but this time it's not a simple one it's a complex complex okay and the data structure that we have we have something like this one okay it's a complex data structure and uh, it probably you would think it's not working it's actually not working by default but if you want to work it um sorry i have to <clears throat> expect this complex one and point okay the you have observed uh it's also it's it's, it's actually the flat run the thing the other two things uh, it is uh, being there first um it's considering the second product as a still a string okay it's not this considering um as a uh, as a value means is this is uh, it's not a, this is not a json value instead of that this is considering as a string value okay so um, um but apart from this it's also indexes of the array is also considering as a key okay and if we go to json lint so let's make json validator and open up over here and you see we really not expecting this uh it's a zero zero one id it means everything is flat run and it's become an object honestly we don't want we want something like id and product.xml.code means nested for one that we really need and we want to do that okay so how we are going to do that so we let me think first thing this particular person we have to convert it as a json instead of a string because it's a basically it's not a json value okay so two things first we have to loop this thing and make it update it as a uh, let's say let i is equals to zero i is less than and uh, let object dot length um, object and i plus plus okay now what we have to do we have to parse and store uh, the value inside like we have to <clears throat> xml the xml now it will be converted into the json instead of the string okay we are just taking a string as an input and it's going to convert them as a json value now it could be uh, parsed um but still if we do this and um, still we want to flat run this it's not going to be help us okay let me try it out okay if it's still i'm going to do it it's not going to be help it's having no effect even it's going to be flat run that's true but we have the problem of the zero means it's, it's we really don't want that we we want in the category of id that's okay product.code that's okay but it's everything is flat run and in short it's become the object it's become the one single object uh, it might be fulfilled for the sum of the scenario but what we want we want is still an array we don't want an object we want is still an array and uh, uh, and in in the nested level we want uh, to be the flat run so um, so what we could do we override this thing we are just going to override um i and now what we are going to just flat run that particular array or that particular object instead of the entire object that's why i'm going to flat run um so we have to do in this way let object and 
that's uh, <clears throat> that's um, value. Okay. And we should, we could remove this array over here. Okay. And now I believe it should work expected. Um, let object is not a function. Ah, yeah, it's not a function. Definitely it's not a function. It's an array, which means we could not invoke this like this. Okay. We have unsaved it. Yep. So this is the expected results we want. We got the array. Okay. So that's pretty much all. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Thank, thanks for your time.